Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal, Spider-Man. Hey, Cadre, it's KJ. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my Rock the Veg shirt that I got from the uh, Zazzle store. It's got the uh, TSC logo on the back. Um, so, really happy to wear that one. So today, uh, I will be finishing up with the veg that I brought. Um, so you can see I'm in a hotel room. Uh, I'm in Branson, Missouri today, uh, which is about three hours south of where I live. Um, Branson's a kind of like a mini Vegas, except there's no gambling. Um, it's mostly all shows. Um, it's a big touristy area, big with the older crowd, uh, lots of stuff going on down here. So I'm here for a bingo conference and uh, I will post more about that uh, in another thread. Uh, rode my motorcycle down here. I'll also write up more about that in my motorcycle thread. Um, but today we're gonna use, uh, continue on. I brought the samples with me um, that chat, I mean, Dave, I mean, Don, I mean, I mean Chris, Chris uh, Gear Noir sent me. Um, uh, from uh, grooming department. This one is Coattails and Coattails is a beef tallow and goat's milk base. Um, it's saffron, clove, oud, and vetiver. Um, they play really well together. Um, nothing, nothing's really standing out. Uh, I could definitely taste or taste, uh, um, smell the probably the oud and the vetiver. I don't, I'm not really getting clove out of it. There might be just a hint of spiciness. Um, and the, I'm not sure exactly what saffron smells like. I've seen saffron before, but it never really had a smell. So maybe, I don't know, there's a little bit of brightness in there and maybe that's um, coming from saffron, I'm not sure. But we're gonna give this a go. Um, now one thing I did notice on the way down here, uh, right as I was getting into town, I saw a big antique store. Uh, didn't have time yesterday to check it out, but um, I'm gonna have some time after my schedule today to uh, check it out. And so I went online to see when they closed, just to make sure. They closed at 10 p.m. Antique store that closes at 10 p.m. So that tells you a little bit about this town. There's some nightlife. People are out. Uh, yesterday from out my window at night, I saw there's a uh, lighted up Ferris wheel going at 10, 11 o'clock last night. But Branson is very uh, family oriented, so you're not gonna have the gambling and any seediness that you find in Vegas. Not that Vegas is that bad. But this is my first time to Branson, so I haven't even, haven't seen much of it, just uh, from what I was seeing on the way to the hotel and from out my window so far. I haven't really gotten out in town yet. Um, now there are just, there's a few just regular antique stores in in town that are, they, they close at like five. Um, but there were a couple of bigger stores that did stay open until 10 and they're on the main, the main strip, so to speak. The scent is still really good um, on the soap. It didn't die down. I'm really liking this. I wasn't expecting to like these soaps so much. I don't know, just the name, I guess. Just kind of grooming department, just pretty mundane name. Made me think it was kind of average. So I never really paid attention to them um, until I saw the absinthe and, absinthe and leather and I dig me some absinthe and some anise flavor and scent, so I kind of wanted to try that, so that's why I was interested in, in giving this a go. Uh, so, uh, I mean, Chris, uh, sorry, um, gave me some samples, and uh, 
So now we're trying them out. Lather's really good. Uh, so far the scent has been really good. I really liked a couple of them. Uh, brought my Techmatic with me. So it wasn't flying. Just drove my motorcycle down here, so it wasn't too space limited on what I brought with me. As long as it would fit in my DOP kit, it didn't really matter. It wasn't under any restrictions for TSA for traveling, so it didn't have to resort to uh, the dreaded Mach 3. Like Chad had to. Also, uh, the bingo conference, uh, we just kind of had some little kickoff meetings yesterday, some just round table discussions, nothing really serious. So we'll get into the meat of it today, but um, I'm starting to accumulate some swag. That's the, uh, the stuff we all get. With all the free handouts with all the commission logos and all that stuff on it. Got a um, couple of bags. I got a water bottle, like a metal water bottle. Uh, got some neon orange daubers that you can use for marking your cards and uh, so if you're playing Cosmic Bingo, which yes, Cosmic Bingo is a thing. So you might have heard of Cosmic Bowling, where they turn off the lights, turn on the black lights, and bring out some special neon bowling balls and pins that'll glow under the black light. They do the same thing for bingo. They use ink in the cards that glow, the dauber ink glows, and everybody shows up wearing neon clothes and glow sticks and glow necklaces and all that kind of stuff so got me a couple samples of those Whoa. camera's in a weird position you wouldn't believe what I had to do to get this thing propped up I got one of those uh, mirrors the little round mirrors you know the for looking up close at your face well you can see right here yeah that that's the the mirror like I've got this thing wedged in between the mirror and the frame uh, so it would stay up and I started filming the first time I got a minute into it and it fell off so I had to get some washcloths and wedge them in there to hold the my phone so Yesterday we just kind of talked about uh, some new game called the Queen of Hearts that a lot of uh, a lot of bingo halls are running, and uh, it's a progressive jackpot. And some of these places um, that come from more populated areas, um, they get a lot of players. And if nobody wins, one week. Like I said, it's progressive, so the jackpot just keeps building. And you play kind of with a deck of cards. And it's like a 50-50 drawing. So 50% of the money that people put in to buy tickets is your profit, and 50% is the jackpot. And if nobody hits, all that money just rolls over to next week. So the pot gets even bigger. And some of these places are talking about when, <clears throat> when there's finally hits, 
they're up in the tens of thousands of dollars for the jackpot. Um, so we are looking at adding that game into our bingo hall. Today is going to be more formal. I shouldn't say formal, I should say more structured. They got to elect new board members and go over some rule changes. And take care of some business. But it'll be fun. They, uh, so they play bingo games here. They do ticket drawings. Um, we're kind of introducing some uh, pull tab games that you play by drawing bingo numbers. So uh, I bought a few bingo tickets or the pull tabs. So hopefully I can come away winning some money. But I probably won't because I never win a bingo. So, oh, soap's a little dry. So just add a little bit of water to it and it's hella slick now. I'm just gonna do a quick touch up. I still can't get over how smooth the uh, Techmatic is. Just seems there's more bad reviews than there are good reviews of it. And so I was expecting to have a horrible shave, but this thing's really good. So it's a cartridge razor ish, but it's a, uh, I consider it more of a single edge razor. It's Probably, if you're gonna compare it to anything else that everybody else would be familiar with, uh, it's probably comparable to an injector. As far as the geometry of it, the shave of it, the feel of it, it's like an injector, which injectors are so easy. It's almost like cheating. If you haven't tried an injector, you need to. They're awesome. All right, that's good enough. Uh, so, uh, chat, I mean, Dave, I, Chris, Chris, uh, thanks for the sample. Uh, I'm really, this is another one I'm, I'm really digging. Uh, oh, again, when I got the samples and popped them all open, I wasn't really wild about any of them, but once I get them out, put them in the bowl, smush them around, lather them up, I'm really digging it. Um, what, like I said, I wasn't expecting to like these as much as I do. Pardon me when I try and get this soap off my face. It's so slick. It's so slick. It's hard to come off. Uh, but man, that face feel is really good. Um, it seems like it's not very often I get done with a shave and can really feel uh, the properties of the soap still on my face. Uh, excellent moisturizing. This is this is good. Uh, <clears throat> that I gotta say that's that's probably an elite soap right there. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be, but it, it really is. Um, so I brought some uh, witch hazel with me. 
Uh, now again, these, these little bottles here are awesome. Um, this is uh, a bottle that I got when I stayed at uh, uh, Hilton Hotels. Um, this is the shampoo bottle from this hotel. I'm staying at a Radisson. Um, and there, this is 0.85 ounces. I think this is 0.81 ounces. So right around 0.8 ounces. If you dump this out, uh, take the label off, fill it up with uh, aftershave. Um, you know, for me and Don, that's like one to two uses. But for your average wet shaver, um, that could easily last you like a week. Um, so if you were going out of town, traveling, uh, A, when you get to the hotel, you want to take all of these bottles with you. Um, even if you don't use it, the lotion, I know a lot of people don't use the, the body lotion or hand lotion or whatever. Um, just take them, dump them out, and, uh, and use them to refill for your travels. Or if you're going to send a uh, sample of aftershave to somebody, if you wanted to try something, uh, those are perfect bottles uh, to do just enough for a sample. Uh, and like I said, it's going to last someone about a week, uh, so it's, it's just the right size. So like I said, I told you I'd be wearing my Rock the Veg shirt on my next video. And so I brought the veg. Uh, yeah, I put it in a Tangeray bottle. I like gin. Um, so this one, mm, I love the veg. Uh, this is one that has been simmering in a glass bottle and just decanted it into this uh, plastic bottle yesterday. Uh, but so if you don't know Rock the Veg, why uh, rock the veg? Well, the veg is is just special. Um, you, uh, it, it's definitely you either love it or you hate it. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there is any other product in all of wet shaving, Williams included, that is as polarizing as the veg. Uh, Sure, there's going to be one or two people out there that are like, meh, it was all right. Most people, you either love it or you hate it, and that's all there is to it. I love it. Uh, as they say, you don't choose the veg, the veg chooses you. So, I am among the chosen. And... It's, it's such a weird, not weird, but uh, it's just such a different scent. Um, I don't even really know how to describe it. It's like, it's not, like, it's, it's not an aftershave. It's, it's an essence all to its own. It's, it's a completely different thing. And you don't just wear the veg. Like, it becomes a part of you. And that's why you gotta rock it. Like, a lot of people are afraid of the lilac scent. They're afraid of what other people are gonna think if they smell it. You gotta let go of all of that fear. And you just gotta rock it. You gotta rock the veg. So, what is this, like, four times I put it on now? You gotta go. You got to go. You got to make sure that you're putting in a whole bunch. You got to get it on there. You got to rock it. So have you ever seen anybody use that much aftershave? Probably. Rock it. Get it everywhere. You want people to know you rock the veg. So, that's my uh, travel shave for today. Um, if I go to the antique stores tonight, which I will, um, I will be sure to post some pictures if there's anything that I grab. This is a touristy town, so I'm expecting the prices to be high. So, I don't know if I'll end up actually buying anything or not. Um, but, even if I don't buy anything, if I see anything cool, I'll take a picture. I'll show you guys. Um, 
So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out on the shavingcadre.com. Uh, just, you know, put, type in, dev, uh, type in the, the shaving cadre on your web browser and, uh, you know, put a little dot com at the end and put a little www dot at the beginning. Hit the enter. It'll take you right there. You can join in on the fun. Um, lots of banter, lots of cool videos, uh, just lots of cool stuff going on. Uh, new members all the time, We're growing. Love it. Uh, check me out on the, on the forum. I'm Spider, and we'll see y'all later.